Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan. I used to make teaching videos and now I just kind of make life content. Um, and this video is actually all centered around kind of why I stopped making teaching videos and how I got my current job. I've had a couple people ask how I got into this job. So I wanted to share that with you guys today and I'm super excited to share that experience because I think it's kind of unique and I think it's worked out for the best. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so let's kind of rewind a little bit kind of to the beginning of how this all started. I went to school to be a teacher. I wanted to be a teacher since I was in sixth grade. And it is really odd that that's not where my career path has led me thus far. So towards the beginning of the 2018-2019 school year, before I got my, my job as a tutor, um, I had already been substitute teaching for a year and it went good relatively um, and so I ended up not really finding a position for the 2018-2019 school year and I was kind of, I kind of didn't want to substitute teach again. It was really stressful and I just, I think I wanted something else like more long term in a school rather than jumping around to a different school every single day. So I ended up applying for this tutoring slash like reading specialist, I guess, kind of teacher. And I ended up getting it, which was super exciting. That experience was really good. But something else that happened towards the beginning of the year is I had applied for a long term sub position. I really, really thought I was going to get it. And I kind of think in my mind, this was like the catalyst for everything. And I didn't end up getting it. And I was really upset about it. And it just kind of started this feeling of like, maybe this isn't for me. And, you know, I thought at first it was just like, oh, I didn't get this job and I'm bummed and I'm feeling sorry for myself. But this feeling actually lasted throughout the entire year. And there became more and more things that I noticed that I just didn't really love about teaching. So I decided towards the end of the school year in 2019, I was like, okay, I want to try something else out. I feel comfortable enough because I have my teaching license for another few years. So if things didn't work out, I would be fine. I'm living at home so I can take a risk and try something else out. So I ended up applying to a, a local amusement park actually uh, called Valley Fair and I used to work there. It was my first job after graduating high school and I worked as a ride operator. While it wasn't the best job in the world that I've ever had, it was fun. And so I saw that they had an HR position open and I decided to apply for it. I ended up getting the job and I spent the entire summer learning about the HR world. Um, it wasn't super in depth. I was an assistant, so I did get to do other little random jobs and things like that, but it was a really cool and fun experience and I still got to be around the amusement park and, uh, you know, go on some of the rides and things like that. So it was a really cool experience. So towards the end of that time, like when we were kind of coming up on the next school year, uh, I'd say probably beginning, middle of August, I ended up getting contacted by a contracting company called Kelly Services via um, Indeed.com. And they were like, hey, we have this HR job with a client or whatever they called it. And uh, would you be interested in going through the application process? So of course I was like, okay, like this really could be my opportunity to go try this, do it through the contracting company for a couple months. If I don't like it, I can then go back to substitute teaching. So that was kind of the main thing is like, I knew I had that, that thing to fall back on, that plan B if things didn't work out in the HR world. 
And so I was really grateful for that because I don't think if like I already had a teaching job or if I didn't have that thing to fall back on, I would have been a little more nervous to try something new. So I'm really grateful that I did have that to fall back on if things didn't work out. So I went through the application process and then they said I had an interview, super excited. So I went to go interview and after the interview on my drive home, um, I got a call from the contracting company lady that I was working with and she said, I got the job. So I was super excited and um, then a week later on September 9th of 2019, I started this job. It was so weird and out of my element. I was sitting in a desk all day. I had a direct manager who was like watching everything that I did. And because I was a contractor and didn't have a full-time position, it was like I had to make sure I was on my game and doing a good job every single day. If you haven't heard from like previous videos or if I haven't explained very well, Basically, I answer phones every day. Um, I usually aim for like 30 phone calls a day. The employees, so managers, employees, managers, managers, whatever, they contact us with questions that they have. So if they have a leave of absence or if they have like a timekeeping issue or I don't know, whatever, so many other things, uh, we help them answer those questions or we get them to the right place. And so I take about 30 calls in an eight hour day. The other thing that I do um, on days that maybe I'm not taking calls because we have like different sections of our job. So there, they also opened a chat feature. So basically the same concept, someone chats in and they say, I didn't receive my paycheck today. And then I check the information and I chat back to them and we figure out what the issue is. So that's kind of my main job. I started then full time um, on January 6th of 2020 and I've been in that job ever since then. But yeah, that's kind of how I got into my current position. I've been working there for nine months. So it's been a, a fun ride and I'm, I'm really glad I got those opportunities. So we'll see where things continue to go, what my dream job develops into. And I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye guys.